going on today? Today? Oh, well... What a great day! Did you notice any of these... Ah! Box there? Hmm. Well, now that you mention it... Hey, you're right! These blocks are out of control, and we need to stop- No! Dude, don't make me twist you into a pretzel! Get rid of these blocks now! I'm just trying to spruce the place up, adding my flair. They're not causing any problems. Uh, oh, Fooey. Everyone, quick! Get out of here! I'll take care of these. You guys get out of here. Hey, preventing death is our job. Everyone, save yourselves! Yucky farf makes me want to vomit. Thanks for doing it for me, Rocky. Oh, yuck. Uh, sorry. Here's a new Zabra ATD. Please be more careful with this one. Ooh, a Zabby. No, not my cheesecake. Not my cheesecake. <laughs> Okay, and that should be everyone back! So much death. Maybe we'll forfeit this challenge on purpose and just focus on preventing death this round. We need to put a stop to all of this death. Agreed! Agreed. It's time for cake at stake! <laughs> Today's cake is cheesecake that has been ruined a bit by the situation. I'm sure it's delicious too. It has shards of glass all over it, but are you saying you'd still eat it? Um. Gosh, if I'm safe, then I'll try. Then let's get to it! Last time, the strongest team on Earth lost by building a zero-block tower. Whichever of their members got the fewest votes from you viewers is eliminated. Out of 74,873 votes, Grassy is the first contestant safe with 26,669 votes. I'm Grassy! And I'm too! Are you gonna eat your cake, Grassy? Oh gosh! <laughs> Next safe is Snowball with 13,017 votes. Will you eat- no. How about you, Belle, with 10,617 votes? I'll save it for later. I'd eat it up too. Good news for you because you're safe with 6,847 votes. Basketball, you're safe next, mate, with 6,150 votes. Thanks! Um, nom, 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 nom. I'm glad you loved it. It's down to two of you, Foldy and Eggy. Which of you will be safe? Well, I promised to eat the cake, so hopefully I'm joining Pie. Joining Pie eating a cake, maybe? Because I might send her some extra. Because you're safe, Eggy, with 5,977 votes. Foldy is out with 5,596 votes. Oh my origami book that's called Geogami. I've been eliminated? It's been fun, guys. And with that, we're back down to 41 contestants. No! Foldy! Hey, two, a lot of us have been wondering, if there's 41 contestants and we compete this infrequently, how are we going to ever possibly finish this competition? Huh? Seriously? Where do you keep leaving for months on end? Oh, gosh, fine! I'll show you all my greatest shame. Welcome, everyone, to my amusement park. My attuesement park? I'll figure it out. I like it. Remote, there's nothing here. I know, I like minimalism. I've been trying to make a profit for the last two years, but not a single ticket has been sold! Do you think maybe it has something to do with the fact that no one knew it existed, there's no rides or any entertainment, and we all HATE IT! <gasps> You're right, Fanny! About us all hating it? No, about there being nothing here! I believe you all had an issue with these blocks, saying there were too many. Why don't we solve both problems at once? Let's declutter our lives of all these blocks by putting them into an amusement park! Folks, today's challenge is to use the leftover blocks I've been stacking around the grasslands and use them to make some sort of amusement park attraction for the park. By sunset, I'll assess all your attractions on a scale of 1 to 10, and the losing team will be up for elimination. Well, this definitely solves that cumbersome block situation which has caused nothing but death and mayhem! Donna, you've convinced me. We should keep the blocks. Grr! There's the blocks, and here's some supplies. Go! And some screws! Perfect! Are you okay? Grab some blocks and hurry to my factory! 
hammers factory? I don't like the sound of that. Sounds rife with death-related possibilities! Then let's follow them and absolve ourselves from our earlier mistakes. Go, go, go! Are you a boring person being boring? Why not be entertaining for once? Yellow face, enough ads! I was talking to you. Oh, uh, but hey, Yellowface, I actually like the idea. Guys, maybe we should make some sort of performance stage for the park. Sounds good to me. Yeah. And maybe this could be our chance to see Winner perform without Loser live. Well, we don't have to push that. We do have Yellowface. Hmm, well, maybe... Yellowface, while we construct a stage out of blocks, why don't you rehearse a performance or two? Can do. I've got just the idea for a script. <laughs> <laughs> what? Nothing. This is just so good so far. Tell me, Icy, are you okay with being shattered repeatedly for the performance? No. I guys, know. Our I team. know. Oh, you go. Last round was a wake-up call, guys. We need to work better as a team. I agree. We should try unscrambling the mess that happened last time. Really? What? You're gonna use that word around me? Oh, sorry, Eggy. Enough talking about yummy foods. The answer our team needs has been hiding right in front of us. Or should I say above us? Oh, okay, actually, it's below us. What? Now it's to the right of us? Who the heck is controlling this thing? Now it's going next to my molecular structures. This is going too far. Hmm, but what does it actually say? How are you able to read things smaller than a molecule? It says the strongest team on Earth. What do you mean that our team's answer has been hiding there? Well, what's the first thing truly strong people look for at an amusement park? A restaurant? A purpose? Rossi? No, think strength, guys. We're gonna build a contraption for two to test their limitless power and put these weaklings to shame. Simple. I like it. Speaking of simple, what is Teardrop making? Just a table with blocks on it? Looks like she's already struggling by herself. Good for our team, though, I guess. Guys, did you hear that idea from Eggy? A restaurant? That sounds amazing. Let's do that. Ooh, I can't wait to see all the things we can create and put on a plate for two to race. That was another team's idea. That they're not using. It still feels like cheating again. I don't want this to be a pattern, guys. I understand, Pin, but they're not actually doing the restaurant. Why leave such a good idea on the table? <laughs> Just like the table we put in our restaurant. Fine. I suppose we can serve an apple or something. I'll go get blocks for the building. <sighs> I'm salivating already. Introducing my newest invention to you all, the brainwave. Simply keep an idea of something in your mind and the machine will bring it into reality. Here, just stare at this drawing of a simple roller coaster puffball. Keep it simple. In a few hours, your brain will finish uploading the idea into the machine and we can release it into the park. Don't think very bad things do not or it'll ruin the roller coaster, simply ruin it! But we need to incorporate the blocks, golf ball. Way ahead of you, the seats that the riders will sit in will be manufactured out of blocks. Four seats in total should do. TV, play a tutorial for us, will you? Okay. Bored. There's too many of us and not enough to do. Then why don't you go make yourself useful and go hinder some other teams like last time? And I know just who to. Do, 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 do. Oh, what are you guys doing down here? We're here to cause some inner team shenanigans. Oh, hey, that's what I'm doing too. You guys are cool. Later. I always knew I was cool. I always knew you were cool too. Guys, they're just building a roller coaster. I hate roller coasters! What if you fall off? You die? You're right. Let's create a landing pad for the people that prefer not to do that. This heat might come in handy. Let's get out of here, gang. We're falling behind, and we still don't have an idea. How about we shortbook for our attraction? Ooh, I love creating anagrams. How about a...